Cressier. It wasn't the quickest of victories. No. So they actually really, really need to start winning by wide margins. If they can put it away 4-1 or better, they can qualify ahead. But yeah, let's just take a look at uh, in the back. LAS team still, uh, you know, their hopes and dreams on the line here. Let's see what they were looking at at the end of that game. I think they're pretty happy. <laughs> 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 yeah, it definitely looks like that they were pretty happy um, because for them, they need Oceania to not win the one versus one. Like, it's very tense in the whole Team Ice department right now yep. because initially it's all about Team 5 versus Team Ice. Unity, everyone wants to work together to achieve those top three seeds. Once you realize who's winning and who's losing, then it becomes a bloodbath internally and everyone's trying to fight for that top seed in Team Ice. Yeah, it'll be a lot of chaos. Well, we're, I think we're about ready to introduce our next pair of guys. Remember, representing OCE in the jungle, it is Carbon. Meanwhile, on the other side of the murder bridge will be QTV, Southeast Asia's top laner. And I mean, QTV, they talked about it on the desk. He has gone from mid to top to mid to top. He has he is very well versed in the solo lane, so you would expect him to be pretty experienced coming into the murder bridge. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this is a guy that you, you definitely associate with the word mechanics. Uh, on the <laughs> other hand, Carbon, you know, he's been, a, he's been a big force in the 1v1s at least, so we'll see if he's able to put this one away. Uh, what do we expect out of him? That's a real big question. Well, he is a jungler, so maybe a Rengar. We saw it from Audi on day one of the one versus ones. I got a name bopping around in my head right you now. You got a Lee name? Sin. Lee Sin. I know, uh, see, I, now I'm I, thinking I, more I'm Levy thinking, towards the you Lee think, Sin. You think he's going yeah, to yeah, yeah, do that? Yeah, yeah. I, what, the one thing that's gotten me is we've actually had zero gentlemen's agreements throughout these one versus that's ones. That's true. So no far. one's like done the agree to farm. They, see, like, now, if I was a 1v1 player, I would have said, look, how about we have a gentleman's agreement and you and I, I will let you choose the champion. That's what I would do because I would be so confident in my skill to destroy you that I would be that I would allow you to team. pick the champion. Yeah. So um, I think that uh, that's how I would play. But we haven't seen any as of yet. And we'll have to see if we see one today. Um, but with the Callista victory already in the bag, Fort Southeast Asia, then I one up in the leaderboard and they're looking to try and make it 2-0 right now. Well, we're already pretty big way into the picks and bans. So Quinn, Tom Kench, Lucian, all off the board. And uh, on the other side, QTV is taking Callista and Kaelin away. A lot of AD carries targeted, and of course, the Kench has been benched. Classic junglers, you know, like uh, the Quay and the Tom Kench. <laughs> no, these are just very conventional one versus one. Ezreal's still on the board. Ah, I've uh, the air guy. Ah, wow. That was Did quick. Did actually get locked? Oh, yes. Oh, my word. Carbon has made a big statement. We've got a jungler versus a top laner. This is, this is going to be spicy. Oh. This is going to be some hot stuff. This is going to be very spicy indeed. Uh, you know, I feel like this is a champion that you can easily overlook because Xin Zhao I mean, tends to do one when thing. When was the last time you saw Xin Zhao? <laughs> I don't know. I Sol haven't Silver even seen see <laughs> And the best part is if he sticks on these summoners, he's going clear, er, uh, yeah, clarity. Clint. 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 Sorry, clarity. I'm like, wait a minute. That's still a thing, right? On Murder <laughs> Bridge. So he's saying, OK, go ahead, CC me. I'm gonna hedge my bets here. You cannot stop me coming in. Give me an, 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 un, an immovable object. He's the now, unstoppable force. Now, I'm trying to recall cleanse. As far as I'm aware, it does remove exhaust. It will not remove your ignite, but it will remove the exhaust. So I assume oh. that Carbon is playing into the fact that the vast majority of players have been running exhaust ignite. So he's playing around that fact. Now, he can't mitigate the damage from the ignite, but he can remove the exhaust factor, and that means that any hard all-in one versus ones, he should be able to have the advantage. But what he does lose out on, though, is the power of the ignite, which, of course, on the other side, QTV has taken. But Jace is definitely a little squishier. And I'm curious to see if Carbon is just going to all in him pre minions at this point. Well, both are looking to ascertain brush control. Carbon, don't want to face check. Ooh. Oh, smart use of the sweep trinket to see if QTV was in the brush. He did get a spot of him. I mean, we heard Swiffer say in the uh, pre game uh, video that Carbon does take one versus one very seriously, and you can see how prepared he is. It, I feel like that he just understands this game mode perfectly. Taking the cleanse, using the sweepers, that was just, he, he so far he's got a great understanding. Here we go. QTV is hanging in the front. Carbon is just waiting for the first move to try and counter strike in. But they're gonna wait for the minions to spawn instead. I'm just gonna play the patient game. Now, what has Carbon okay. decided to start with? He's got the E. So he's got his audacious charge in. Um, and now remember, his passive will actually do a lot in terms of the one versus one because it does give him uh, a bit of 
extra damage. Or sorry, it reduces the armor of his target for three seconds to anyone that uh, does have that one versus one dueling thing, which is, again, another fantastic one versus one thing. I feel like Carbon really has thought this out. He has done some serious research into being able to win the one versus one. And he's got the level two. He's going to go for it here. Audacious charge in. Instantly, QTV's down to half health. Exhaust is on him. He gets the knockup. Oh, Very man. Early cleanse, though, from Carbon. Not sure why he decided to burn that. I think he was worried of the counter exhaust. QTV did not use either of his summoners in that case. So it's actually a good advantage for him if he can get his health back up. And you can see the <laughs> tense look on the faces <laughs> of the OCE players right now backstage. Uh, they are feeling the pressure. For Carbon, he does have the lead right now in terms of pressure. The minion wave is pushing towards QTV's turret. Uh, we've talked at length about how difficult it is to farm underneath the turret. Goes in again. Oh, and this time he is under turret. He takes this shot. Exhaust, ignite. Carbon is in some trouble. QTV knocks him back away. And oh, he gets the no, health run, Carbon, run. Oh, he run, gets the kill. Carbon, run. Carbon, no! <laughs> First blood and a victory for Southeast Asia again. Oh, Carbon, that was such a massive mistake. We were giving you so much praise in your preparation for the one versus one, and then you miss time the health Relic, just as you go for the aggressive pay, just as you look like you're about Whoa. to turn it around. And